Uh, all in favor of approval, please say yes. 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 He knows. Let the record show the June 8th, 2023 has been approved as posted with no amendments. Approval of minutes, and we do have. I do have one um, correction or a note actually. So, Ordinance 2306 that was originally in. in used already, so it'll be 2307 for the budget ordinance. And so I've made a note in the minutes that the FY24 budget ordinance number is changed to 2307 for second reading. All information is the same so that that can be tracked in the future. Move uh, for the approval of the amended minutes. Second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Any no's? Okay. The amended minutes have been approved as recognized okay mayor's report uh, I want to re recognize all the perfect works I would assume that Tasser or, or the law director would have informed you of this new law the law says you must clearly caption things you vote on it's not clearly captioned it's for ball fields I watched the workshop I heard each of you talk the Farragut press faithfully recorded that workshop since it's improperly captioned and since a board member has denied that it's for ball fields, I, I feel that you should table this until your town attorney comes back. And, and I don't know what your, you may be up against the wire on your budget deadline, but the law has changed and you did not adapt to the change in the law. So I respectfully caution you that if you vote on this tonight, you could be violating the Open Meetings Act, and you may already have. Any other questions? Oh, I, I, I have a copy for the law director and for the Farragut Press. What do, what do you consider what road? <clears throat> consider ball fields or a park? Well, I, I sent you an email with an aerial photograph. So what do you did, did you not get that? Uh, I'm sure I did, but what do you consider? Oh, only the mayor responded to that email. Um, he... That's not the point, uh, Mr. Mitchell. He asked you a question. On I don't understand can... the question. Okay. So I know where Watt Road, Road is. I know Watt where Road. it begins. I know where it's it ends. Got ball fields all over it. I'm just curious if you classify that as a ball fields. This is new construction. This is park. new construction. Prosperity Crossing. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I, there's a link to it. I sent in the email I'm to you. So familiar with Prosperity Crossing. Very. It's a. It's. It's been around a long time. It's not new. It's not even remotely new. They've changed their. Plan. I know. Okay, I tried asking a question. Well, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I gave well, you. I'll, I'll rephrase the question for you. He's asking you about the ball field that's located on Watt Road. It's called Bob Leonard Park. No, no. I'm. Are speaking. you familiar with that? Oh yes, I am. Okay. I, I've lived here a year since the town was formed. Okay. Yes. He asked you if would you consider that a park. Sports complex is not a park. And, and, and Mayor Williams, I'm not a chancellor. My opinion is not binding. Now, he asked you a question, Mr. Mitchell, was do you think that that location on, on Watt Road, what we call Bob Leonard Park, do it's you ball, think that's a park? It's a ball field. Okay, it's got ball fields on it, yeah. But do you consider that a park? Is that what the sign says it is? I don't know what the sign says okay. it is. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, one thing. I got one for you, one more. Uh, when does this particular law go into effect? It already has, uh, April 25th. I, I, had, I brought a packet for the law director. I'd be happy to leave it with you. Uh, leave it with or, well, well, Mr. Smoke. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I have a question for us, Mr. Mayor. Are we going to? Yeah. Yeah. Good question. We had, did, we, did we do a motion? We, you well, have we're not to that yet. Okay. Okay. We have a motion. Uh, okay. We had to make sure that that was the only. We weren't aware that somebody was going to speak, but now we are. He's had a chance to speak, so at this point, then we'll we'll move on. Okay. Okay. We do David White first because he has a question. Yeah. Wait. Wait till Mr. Uh, Mitchell sits down, please. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, now at this point, I'll ask for a motion 
on this particular ordinance. Make a motion. We've got a motion and a second already. Right. Okay. Then uh, we'll let the first discussion member be Alderman White. Well, I'm, I'm, I am a little bit concerned because, in my opinion, uh, a sports complex is not a park. And I'm, I remember specifically saying if we're going to have a sports complex, we need to have a concession stand. We need to have bleachers. We need to have uh, restrooms so people can come from all over the country, have tournaments here, and stay on the property. And that was for sales tax revenue. So I'm concerned if this, if this, if, if this law truly is what it sounds to be, if we have to, if that ties our hands, do we ever use that money that we have to build a park and that's all we can build? We, we can't use it for anything else. That concerns me. And I really would like to have a legal opinion on it uh, before I vote because I, I don't understand the law and I don't understand what it all means. Sorry, I just don't. Okay. Uh, is that that's all you get? Okay. Yes, sir. Alderman Meyer. <clears throat> I guess so. My understanding was when we pass a budget, we're we're doing a just that. We're we are passing a plan on how to spend money, um, and that's just a plan. We actually fund the different activities in the budget throughout the year by having votes on ordinances and. Contract contracts and that kind of stuff so we could put you know a park land purchase here um that doesn't mean we're tied to it because this is just the budget if we go through and we see that the um contract. the contract or the ordinance or whatever comes through and it, it is ballparks and we decide hey yeah we don't really want ballparks for whatever reason we can vote against it at that time is that correct david mm -hmm. yes sir so we're not necessarily bound by law that whatever this budget says, we absolutely have to spend the money on. I mean, we're 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 planning on spending it that way, but there's always unforeseen f circumstances. Uh, I, I'd like to ask, have David answer my question. Yeah, I'd be I'd be happy to. If you're Mary, are you okay with that? Yeah. Sure. Um, so the the issue for we're very well aware of this law. This is new. Uh, we abide by this law already uh, with the way we caption things and the way we put things out in our public notices. So in the budget process, when you're approving the budget, you approve allocations of, of dollars for various things, just like Alderman Meyer said. So the fact that for this one particular item in, that we're talking about is uh, money for parkland purchase. Parkland purchase could be for uh, any kind of parkland, basically, uh, and it could be for up to that amount of money. You're not deciding how the park's going to look, how it's going to feel, what it's going to be, or anything else a part of it other than the purchase of the land that would be used for a future park of some kind. Now, you can have disagreements about what goes into a park, uh, but certainly those are for a later date. You also are not necessarily purchasing the park tonight. That would have to come up to a future vote for the board to then consider and all the elements of that at that time. So this is just to allocate the dollars and I feel confident that we have done everything we need to do to make sure that you're okay in approving the budget. And then the other comment is, I just for the record, I'm not sure I want baseball fields on here. <laughs> if I didn't make that clear during the workshop, I'll make it clear now. I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not convinced that's the best use of the land, but I do, I am convinced that we need to purchase the land. I'm not convinced yet of what the purpose of it should be, except for park usage of some kind. Probably not ball fields. Vice Mayor? Yes. First off, uh, Prosperity Crossing has changed their concept plan. And if you go to prosperitycrossing.com, you will see that he has changed it to uh, include apartments at the top. That's what they're currently building a bunch of offices, retail, a grocery store, a wholesale club, a hotel convention facility, a um, bunch of other retail, an outdoor outfitter, sporting goods, he got pretty specific, specific there, um, one building for a sports complex, medical, a department store, or 
retail. So he's no longer um, planning to do a, a sports park. What point of order, ma'am? No, uh, whoa, whoa, no. no. You're not recognized right now. She's I'm, speaking, I'm okay? Speaking. Second off, so I'm just making that clear that that this is that prosperity crossing is a is a, a motion a movement. I don't know what's going on there. The fact of the matter is, when we talked about this, it was presented that a possibility could be ball fields in this in this land. Now, Alderman Meyer and I both advocated that we think it should be a dark park. At the end of that discussion, we all realized that it doesn't matter what any one of us think because by the time this comes up for this community to decide on, it's going to be at least, to me, at least a decade. We're, we're out CIP to six years, and there is no money in the budget to, to do any uh, any kind of uh, park land, any kind of park development on this new. This is basically, we are investing in this land for a future opportunity. Quite frankly, I look at it as there's an opportunity. We have this, I don't know if you guys have been on this bike walking trail in McPhee Park. It is amazing. It's beautiful. You didn't have to take many trees down. It wasn't very expensive to build. When uh, Ms. Seal decides to sell her property and they develop that between McPhee and the manor at McPhee, we will, not, we will have an area that we could um, extend that trail down. We could use the entire treed area and build a, an impressive trail system through that and not take down any trees. That is an opportunity. That is an opportunity that would not be uh, for us if we do not purchase this land. That would be an opportunity that we could do. We wouldn't have to put in any infrastructure. We wouldn't have to put any entrance there. We would just be able to connect in from our existing uh, trailhead um, over by the, the splash pad. This is an idea right now. All it is is a purchase of land. It says park land purchase. There is no designated use for this. Like I said, there is no project. There is no plan. There is a proposal that you could potentially use ball fields there. There, Somebody said they wanted to see an aquatic center. We won't, we won't know this until this community can get together. In the future, we will do a park survey like we've done in the past. We're going to have to update our master plan, what, every five years? Mm -hmm. We may uh, survey, begin a survey in the next uh, the next park update in five years to say, hey, we've got this land. What are your thoughts on it? The one thing that we get the most public input on is our master plan and our park planning. So I have no doubt that this community will come up with really great ideas for what to do with that land that preserves a whole ton of those trees because I think most of us are on the same page. We don't want to see those trees disappear. What I do know from our uh, workshops, from the 2019 workshop we did on McPhee Road, the residents there did not want to see any more houses built. They were frustrated by that. We all know, sitting on this board, that people have private property rights. And in the 75 years since this, this area started um, turning over from agricultural to uh, low-density residential, not once has a, a property that's been asked to rezone from agricultural to low-density residential has it been rejected. That property is either going to be reserved for park space or it's going to be houses. If you look on KGIS, you will see that there is a connector road from the current uh, Manor at McPhee that abuts right into this property that we're considering buying. I cannot understand how this is such a controversy. 119 homes or wooded property for the next at least decade and then a park after that. This is, that's, no, this is, this is, this is our, this is all we're doing is buying parkland. It is very clear here, all it says is parkland purchase. There is no designated use here and it's not going to be even decided by this board. Mr. Mayor, I spoke with the developer. Mr. Mitchell, you are not in order. You had your five minutes to speak. I did not know she was going to make a statement. That don't make any difference. That don't make any difference. You can stop now. Well, fine. Okay, Mr. Burnett. Alderman Burnett, you're up next. Sir. Um, as some have said, I mean, I, I am for this park, per, or for this land purchase. 
it's useless for us to talk about what it could or could not be because it's not going to be us that decides that so that seems futile right now but I know that from a resident to park ratio that's based on national averages um, we are short park space and in the next five or ten years we will be very short park space so I think it's a very wise choice um, I have not met anyone that would rather have an extra 200 homes in that area as opposed to a park not a single person uh, and so I think the idea that we're in competition with something that's uh, a hope of another developer is just completely false. We're not in competition with anybody because we don't even know what we're competing for. So that doesn't even make sense because we don't know what it's going to be. But we do know for the future of Farragut, uh, or it's at least my belief that it's a very smart purchase. Uh, and it's one of the last opportunities to purchase land um, really forever. Uh, so I'm very supportive of it. So that's that's pretty simple. Uh, along with the McPhee fence uh, that was brought up, um, I would love for the board to be able to get some pictures of what we're thinking for the fence. Uh, the road frontage there that that fence would cover is pretty massive, and it needs to be attractive. It needs to, be attractive. It needs to fit the environment that it's in. Um, probably a little less rural than it was five years ago with the, some of the farms being gone, but it still has a great kind of rural feel. Uh, and so would love for that fence to match and not be, you know, kind of icy cold aluminum. Me and David talked about earlier. So we'd just love to see some ideas, some renderings of which direction we're headed if we could provide any feedback. So no barbed wire fence is what you're asking for? <laughs> Billy, that may teach some people a lesson. <laughs> we, uh, Ron and I, uh, were talking about fencing today, so we can definitely send you something and, and, and let the board take a look at what we're what we're <clears throat> thinking about. But it will be attractive okay. for sure. Okay, well, I've traveled all that property uh, personally. It's a very nice piece of property. It's very rugged in places. It's got some very nice woods, uh, great tree stand all throughout it. Uh, like the vice mayor said, if if uh, whether it be short term or long term, if we have a walking trail there uh, that went through the woods, similar to what we've got right now in the park, uh, the, the mile and a half trail we've got, uh, that would be, if that's the way it stayed, that would be wonderful. Uh, the residents in this area, uh, we had a quarter study, like what vice mayor was talking about. They told us what they would like to see. Uh, and I think everybody agreed with that. They they did not want uh, a bunch of apartments there. They did not want a glut of housing. Yes, he does have property rights. He can sell it to whoever he wants to. And if it's uh, within uh, the, the uh, uh, land use and, and the zoning, it can be built. Uh, the choice of whether it could be a park or it could be just park land uh, to be developed by, I'll be long gone before it's ever done. Um, it'll, like has been said, it'll be future boards that decide this, what, what it'll be. Uh, but uh, either that or housing, I think I would always and will always vote for park land versus housing. So uh, I don't know about, you know, a law that, uh, is specific on something, but I do not think we're in violation of any sh sorts. Uh, I mean, if you read it, uh, if you read the budget, you see what it says. Um, so at that point, uh, if unless one of the other aldermen has more to say. I do, thank you, Mr. Okay, Mayor. go right ahead. Uh, I want to make it clear, and I think everybody knows, I've always been for the purchase of this property from day one. I really want us to get the property. I really prefer a sports park on it, uh, where some people are reading, but that's my choice. That's what I'd like to see. Uh, Lady Mayor's right in one respect. We do not have a plan. We have not had a plan. Uh, we've not talked about it or voted on it. We've made our, we've made our wishes known, and I've made mine known. Uh, but one thing 
is I, I'm, as you all know, and you know by now, I'm very concerned with the law, wherever it is, whether it be here, whether it be in the state. And uh, if this is all right to say parkland instead of park and or sports, sports complex, because one thing, is, in my opinion, is a fact. A sports complex is not a park. Never has been. I've played a lot of sports, and I've never played football in a park. I've always played on a football field in a sports complex. <laughs> so I don't agree that a parkland is the same as a sports park. That's what concerns me about the identification. May not be a problem. I don't know. I don't know the law. I'm just going by what the man said. I've never read the law. But I wish the attorney was here to have his opinion. I, I trust David's opinion. If he's researched it and uh, and he thinks we're fine, that, that's the only problem I have is the way it's identified. And uh, I just wouldn't want to see it hold up this board, tie our hands, or tie a board up in the future if they wanted to build a sports complex, but turned out they couldn't because they, the agenda item says it's parkland. That's the only, my only concern. I don't want to type anybody's hands. I want it to be that we can make that decision or some other board can make that decision when it comes time. But they 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 don't have to do what this says and make it some kind of park. That's my only okay. issue with it. Okay. Let's go. I pass. 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 Yeah. Um, I'll just kind of make a statement just because it could help in the future, maybe or maybe not. But I do, my my desire is that it is, um, I don't want to too much mince with the words, but a park. I mean, we look at Mayor Bob Leonard, that is a park, and it's got five fields, four, well, it's got three turf fields and volleyball, and people come from all over to have big tournaments there. So it, in my opinion, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, that that is more of our regional draw, and it's on the outside of town by the interstate. This is in a resident, more residential area that we don't want hundreds and hundreds of cars yeah. flying up and down every single day. That's kind of the advantage of that over how one of the advantages of having it over housing. But my um, my hope in the property, since it's probably not going to be me, is a park. It can have ball fields. I'm not saying no ball fields, um, but is uh, a park that serves the needs of the community. And I think those needs will be some types of fields, whatever that is in the future. But um, that's my hopes in the land. I, and I'll just add on to that. A sports, if we're ever going to have a sports complex, it really does belong. It, it's like a converting of Watt Road, Mayor Bob Leonard, to more of a sports complex. If you're ever going to have a sports complex, that's probably where it belongs because if you're looking for the revenue generator, or that, that's where the retail is. That's where the hotels are just one exit down. And you could convert some of the park uses to this area if this future town is, is inclined to do that. Um, but I don't see this being where we want to drive um, a lot of um, regional travel. For that very reason, it's it's a residential road. It's a residential portion of our community, and I don't think that the the residents on McPhee Road would really appreciate that. So, you know, that's a discussion for then. But I agree that this is this is an opportunity to expand McPhee Park, which is a park, and and so I'm just adding on to yours. Okay. Well, we start out. <laughs> For this to be the second reading uh, yeah. of a uh, budget, now, and we need to get back to that. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I think uh, I think everybody would agree that we do need to get back to that. So, uh, assuming that uh, our discussion is completed, <laughs> then uh, I'll ask the town recorder for a roll call vote, please. Alderman Burnett. Yes. Alderman Meyer. Yes. Vice Mayor Poplin. Yes. Alderman White. With the reservations. Yes. Mayor Williams. Mayor Williams, yes. Uh, <coughs> let the record show that the uh, Ordinance 23-07 has been approved by roll call vote on the second reading. Okay, next.